if you want to know what pups do get, then pop on down to the Popper's Kit. Like, share, subscribe, are the buttons to hit when you pop on by to the Popper's Kit. What's poppin' Poppers? Welcome back to the Popper's Pit, my YouTube show where I share my Funko Pop collection with you. Now, before I get into today's pop, I would like to share an experience that I had yesterday. I received an email from Funko saying that their pop-up shop exclusive, which is a limited edition or a variant of a Funko Pop, was Scrappy-Doo. Now, Scooby-Doo is one of my all-time favorite cartoons. And I thought, I would really like this pop. And I decided I was going to buy it. And... I was really looking forward to getting it. I had my browser open, waiting till the two o'clock release time. Two o'clock came, I added it to my cart, and then I made a huge mistake. I checked out to see if there were any other pops that I wanted. And within that minute, between doing that and hitting checkout, while I was in the checkout queue, I got knocked off because it was sold out. And I was very upset with myself because I probably could have avoided that by just going in and buying the pop. So if you ever go on to the pop-up shop, just make sure that you go and you get your pop. And if you want other things, look beforehand and then add it to your cart because a lot of the times you can't get it again on that site. And you have to go into a secondary seller like eBay, which I checked, and they have the pop for... Uh, at most hundred dollars and at least I saw 40 so I'm not a hundred percent decided yet if I'm gonna buy one for myself um, because it was only fifteen dollars on the pop-up shop which uh, as I have always said selling Funko's is a aftermarket winner uh, it because they get vaulted they become limited edition so where a retail store will sell them at the recommended retail price, an aftermarket seller will sell them for their worth. Kind of like baseball cards or comic books. So, which reminds me of another piece of advice that I received from a comic book store where the comic book attendant told me, if you see a pop that you want, you buy it because you never know when you're going to see it again. So I've started doing that. And actually, this week was the second time that this happened to me, where I went to go order the Ronin Walmart exclusive off of Walmart. There was only one left, but I have a history of indecision, so I didn't know which one I other ones to get. That way I could get the free shipping for $35. And by the time I was ready to check out, it was gone. So I didn't learn my lesson one day. And I lost Scrappy Doo. So I've learned that to just make when it comes to Funko Pops, make your decision. So enough about me. Let's talk about the pop. And you know who it is because you saw the title. Oh, Scooby Doo. Where are you? We're over here. Yes, that's my terrible Scooby Doo impression. So Scooby Doo is one of my all time favorite cartoon characters. I used to watch it when I was a child. I had Scooby-Doo toys. Uh, when the Warner Brothers store was open, I received a whole bunch of Scooby-Doo things for Christmas and my birthday. And uh, I even had Scooby-Doo underwear when I was a little kid. So that's probably a little bit too much information. But So let's go out a little bit more information about Scooby-Doo. And I he's started in 1969 on the show Scooby-Doo, Where Are You? He was created by Joe Ruby and Ken Spears, which I actually just learned about while creating this video. Uh, I always thought Hanna-Barbera created them, but Hanna-Barbera is the production company. So you learned something. It was interesting. I also learned that in 2013, TV Guide ranked him as the fifth greatest TV cartoon. So for those who do not know who Scooby-Doo is, he is a talking dog. Uh, he is part of the Scooby-Doo Detective Agency, who also is known as Mystery Inc. 
they also it consists of Scooby, Shaggy, Velma, Daphne, and Fred. They go around solving crimes. They go to haunted places, uh, abandoned hotels, theme parks, uh, pl many places. And it's haunted by a ghost or a monster, which just ends up being somebody who had something to gain uh, in disguise. Uh, and they would have gotten away with it if it wasn't for you pesky kids and your mangy mutt. And let's move here. So Scooby-Doo has been in many different forms of cartoons. It's his 50th anniversary this year, actually. Uh, they released newer version of Scooby where he has a sandwich. Um, he has been in for over 50 years. They had the Scooby-Doo mysteries. They had the Scooby-Doo uh, Hollywood where it had celebrities guest voicing as characters like uh, the, one of the ones I had was Scooby-Doo and Batman and Robin. Uh, there was a live action Scooby-Doo movie. There was two of them. Um, I, I thought the first one was good. Two was okay. It's worth watching once. So that is the Scooby-Doo pop. I'm going to keep it in the box because I've become a little leery about taking the Funko Pops out. I know that the first one I took out I, I'll be honest, I already t had taken it out. It actually was uh, the star of my Christmas tree that year uh, because it was the year Roddy Piper died. And so I, you know what? Why don't you put in the comments section if you think I should take the Funko Pops out of the boxes. I, I might, I'm not going to say I'm going to go 100%. There might be a few that I take out to show. But I think that this one you can pretty much see very well through in the box. So, all right. So, do me a favor. Hit that like, share, and subscribe button. And let me know in the comments section also, who's your favorite Hanna-Barbera cartoon character? Maybe Funko made one. You know, actually, a lot of the Hanna-Barbera characters are part of that Funko Pop exclusive club. So, you know what? I'm going to end this right now. And I'm going to end this on a pop. Thanks for popping by. Make sure to please hit that like, share, and subscribe button. As well as pressing that bell icon. That way you can be alerted the next time the Popper's Pit has a new video. Also, check out my other videos. Leave a comment. Check out the description, which has a couple of links to the Pals of the Pit. All right. Can't wait to see you next time. Like, share, subscribe are the buttons to hit when you pop on by to the poppers. Pit.